Hey everyone, Brian here from Made of Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to find your instruments and effects from Complete Now in Ableton. I'll show you how to load the instruments and select different presets. I have a blank Ableton project open and I want to load my first instrument. Let's load one of the Play Series instruments we installed, Cloud Supply. I'll first click on Plugins in the browser on the left. If this is your first time opening Ableton Live, you may not see anything in this list, so you will need to enable your Plugins folder in the Preferences. I'll click Live at the top of the screen and select Preferences. I'll select the Plugins tab and then click where it says Off next to the VST2 Plugin System folder. Ableton Live will now scan your Plugins folder. The scan may take a moment, but once the scan is complete, all of your installed plugins will appear in the browser. Don't worry if you don't see some of the instruments you installed or a specific instrument called Complete Now. Some of the instruments you installed, like Cloud Supply or Retro Machines, are contact instruments. Contact is a sampler and is used to run many of the NI instruments. If you haven't yet, make sure you install the contact player from Native Access as you won't be able to load some of the instruments without it. I'll find contact in the browser and drag it onto my first MIDI track. As you can see in Contact's browser on the left, these are all of the contact libraries I installed from Complete Now. Let's load the Play Series instrument Cloud Supply. I'll click on Instruments below Cloud Supply, and then double click cloudsupply.nki, which loads the instrument. We can now hear this preset when I play the keys on my MIDI keyboard. If you want to change the preset, click the small triangle at the top select a different sound category, and select a preset. Let's load up Massive X. I'll go back to Ableton's browser and drag Massive X onto my second MIDI track. Now that Massive X is loaded, we can hear some sound. If you want to change the preset, click the preset name at the top, and you can select from a wide range of sound categories and then select another preset. Let's get some drums in here. I'll find battery and drag it into the empty area on the right, which will automatically create a new MIDI track with battery loaded. The browser on the left is where all of your battery kits are located. Double click on any of the kit names to load a drum kit into battery. The last thing I want to add to my instruments are some effects, and we can load either the Delay Effect Replica or one of my personal favorite reverbs, ROM. Let's go back to the Cloud Supply track. At the bottom of Ableton, you can see my Instrument and Effects Chain area. I'll find ROM in Ableton's browser and drag it directly to the right of Contact. Even the default ROM settings sound great. From here, you can tweak the knobs to customize how the effect sounds, or you can choose from a wide range of ROM presets. Click the preset name at the top, Factory Presets, select a reverb category like Creative, and select one of the presets. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how to find your instruments and effects from Complete Now in Ableton. For a more detailed overview of each individual instrument and effect, make sure you check out our Complete Now product walkthrough tutorials. Thanks for watching.